Moving on from that, we've got another bit of news, which again, I want to just find out more so from the ladies who kind of um, listen to the show or maybe people who are more plugged into whatever, you know, psychology or whatnot or relationships or whatnot. I'm just curious about all this stuff. So this is courtesy of TMZ. It says Tristan Thomas, I had a baby boy with Houston woman, apologize to Claire Kardashian um, for heartache and humiliation, right? So I think a few weeks ago, um, some woman came out and basically alleged that she had had a baby that was fathered by this guy who's obviously in relationship with Khloe Kardashian who was also involved in that nonsense with Jordan Woods and whatnot and Kylie Jenner, I don't know, no, loads of stuff happened, loads of the intricacies of it but whatever it may be, it seemed like, you know, he publicly embarrassed his girl who happened to be Khloe, she ended up taking him back um, people still kind of, you know, there were still rumours going around that he was still going around creeping, doing what he wanted to do he obviously tried to play the family role, moved in playing daddy doing all that good stuff and you know things continued and it seemed like things have basically moved on but now this lady comes out of nowhere and says hey this baby's yours and she basically came out with receipts and shared a screenshot of a snapchat conversation that made him look pretty you know pretty awful as a human because he basically was breaking down the laws of different states in terms of what rights she would get in terms of support and whatnot and basically saying it wasn't enough to do with the baby it was just a one-night fling she basically argued against it and said they hooked up a few times you know standard protocol with people that are scumbags cool safe whatever um it didn't seem like we got any word from chloe kardashian in terms of what's going on there she hasn't really spoken about it in terms of the issue of come out and said anything again which is quite ironic as well considering how forthright she was about defending this guy because you know depend you know especially when you consider how much of a piece of shit he seems to be like but that aside i'm just wondering in general for the women out there that you know listen to this podcast i'm sure there's not a lot of them that do but for the ones that do what is it about women who want to start families with guys who clearly aren't the best option to start a family with now i'm not saying the guy is not attractive i'm sure women will find him attractive i'm not saying that he you know might not be the best in the sack i'm sure women would love to sleep with a basketball player i'm sure they would but it does seem like whatever from what we know of the Kardashians and especially most of the women in that family they do seem to enjoy having monogamous relationships with men where they can have families with them. They like to purport or to push out this image of them being family women, right? Or being, being mums and maternal figures in some way, shape or form. But they want to be married. They want to be in relationships. They don't like to just be dating random people. They want to be with someone for a long time. So if that's the case, why would you think a guy that clearly has left a trail of broken and you know broken hearts broken women from all around the world right in his wake would be the perfect person to start a family with i don't really understand that and i don't see why again it's not he just his fault because as piece of shit he is he can only attract what he can attract he can only attract what's attracted to him so there's clearly something about guys like this who clearly aren't the best you know again option for somebody who wants to start a family that stable women again this is mostly a Chloe Kardashian thing which is again I don't understand it at all because you know she's a fairly rich woman on her own even with the without the family's finances um you know probably more famous than him I would assume so too because I'd assume you know no one knew who this guy was before she date before he started dating Chloe in the first place so you'd imagine she doesn't really need for much not really wanting for much so to put yourself in a position where you're basically getting publicly embarrassed by a guy that doesn't necessarily play that much basketball isn't that good isn't that famous is quite embarrassing isn't it it's quite embarrassing and um i just don't know what women see in guys like this i really don't like and, and i think they have to take some responsibility for the situations they get themselves into because i just don't necessarily think a guy like this wakes up and decides to be a dog I think if you're this kind of dude that has different families all over the place and you're impregnating people and running away and shit and you know whatever right all the stuff that you're doing I don't think you just wake up and be that guy you're probably that guy from minute one again it could be family influences trauma I don't know I don't care but in terms of just what he does as a person you don't necessarily do things in isolation they're usually an accumulation of you know numerous different yeah numerous events kind of build up to that kind of event but it's not as if like it just happens in a silo so if that's the case why would you continually go for someone like this it just doesn't make any sense i don't understand it i've never have um i just think it's really really bizarre but i think maybe it's the thing that women have in their head where they think they're going to fix a guy or something i don't know but surely there are better options you can fix surely somebody that's got like financial problems or has got debt 
or maybe went to a prison for a flipping traffic violation or something that might be someone who could worthy of fixing but a guy that's kind of running wide and loose slamming things with no no condom and basically running away and saying that the if the, if the woman has the kid he's not going to supply her support and she'll only get 700 dollars or whatever he said in the flipping text not necessarily the best guy in it not necessarily the best dude and um yeah the apology was pretty funny itself i think he wrote one here right on his screenshot it said today paternity test <laughs> he really like the end of some hollywood credits and at the end said the paternity test revealed that i fathered a child with marella nichols i take full responsibility it feels like he didn't even write it too i take full responsibility for my actions now that the paternity test has been established i look forward to an amicably raising my son our son sorry i sincerely apologize to everyone i've heard disappointed throughout this ordeal both publicly and privately and then the second screenshot sure he had his name by name it's a chloe with the e on it as well you don't deserve um with your, sorry with the little uh, you know accent on the e you don't deserve this you don't deserve the heartache of humiliation that caused you <laughs> some will say she does but hey um you don't deserve the way that i've treated you over the years my actions certainly have not lined up with the way that i view you and i have utmost respect and love for you regardless of what you may think again i'm so incredibly sorry so who knows maybe he gets taken back still you know i'm assuming women like that are super forgiving so maybe he will none of our business if he does or not but i'm just confused as to why women seem to be again the ones that want to raise families i think if you just want to hook up with a guy like this and you want the clout and you want the money in the bags i get it cool run run riot and do your thing but if you legitimately want to raise a family doing it with somebody that clearly doesn't isn't like you know the best you know option for that and doesn't necessarily know what loyalty means doesn't necessarily know what holding it down means doesn't necessarily mean what sanctity i don't know all these things that you would assume would be tied into one a relationship with somebody i just don't get it i really really don't but you know maybe there's more to it than meets the eye i guess that's the lady herself marily nichols oh yeah that's the text right that he wrote to her supposedly from snapchat or something says tt you know how i feel my feelings haven't changed at all won't be involved at all he says by the way if you think i'm having this baby is going to make you some money it's completely wrong you are aware that i am retiring after the season so in terms of support it'll be whatever's required monthly for someone who's unemployed this texas so it'll be only a couple hundred dollars so he knows someone said he knows the state by state laws <laughs> so you better off taking this 75k i'm offering you because you won't get nothing near what i'm having the kid with a father who's unemployed all you will have is a baby with a father who has zero involvement with a child and a few hundred dollars to a child support month there is an interesting question that needs to be raised about how much say so a guy does have in terms of not wanting to have a kid with somebody he doesn't want to have a kid with right because when you want to have a raise a family part of the reason how you do it you know biologically is that you make sure you don't wear a condom right you make sure you ejaculate inside a person or you both agree that you're going to you know you're not going to pull out cool whatever or she's not going to be a birth control but you're still both deciding right and if it does happen that the person's pregnant they have to come to you and not they have to they have to come to you but they tell you right they would usually inform you hey this happened and then maybe you sit down and you make some sort of decision based on what the information you have available um you'd think so but when it comes to this point and one person says I want to have it, one person doesn't, how much sway so does the other person have, especially if they're not the woman? Like how much say do you really do have in this situation? You probably have zelch in the reality of things because if the woman decides to run away and have the kid, there's literally nothing you can do physically and legally to stop them having it. But in terms of in terms of um, ethics and morally and whatever it may be, if there is love or lust there and you are hooking up regularly, and you are having a good time and just hanging out it's a little bit out of order to expect that person to be okay with you having their kid under the guise that we're going to raise a family if you are only meeting up to bang you're only meeting up in hotel rooms only meeting up in miami las vegas to go to a strip club and to hang out to suddenly feel that that person's going to be okay with you being in a relationship and having an actual baby with them is a bit dumb do you know what i mean maybe maybe it is maybe it isn't um but I think nowadays for a guy to sit there and have the gumption and the guts and the nerve to tell a woman that I don't want to have a kid and you have to listen to what I have to say, oof, 
that's going to be a brave dude. And again, they're just not going to listen to you, especially if they made their mind up, right? You're just not going to have a say so because it's their body. They're the one having to carry the kid for nine months and push you out of their flipping JJ. You have no right to say anything. But I don't know, man. It's part of me that thinks a little bit like if you are just hooking up and it's just a flipping hookup session and it's not. Because again, it may be different. She might come out and say, no, he actually gave me the illusion or he lied and said he was going to leave her for me and we're going to start a family. Okay, cool. Then he has no leg to stand on. But if it was always kind of known that they were always just going to be strictly a hookup thing and it wasn't going to be more than that and now suddenly you get pregnant and you see it as an opportunity to catch a lick i don't know man i don't think that's fair but again the game is a game though the game is also the game if, you, if they do catch a lick and you put yourself in that position you didn't wear protection and it is what it is but i still think there needs to be some fairness in how those things are dealt with but try and argue that point I dare you try and argue that point. <laughs> try and debate with a woman that, you know, if they feel pregnant that you have, that if they feel pregnant or if they are pregnant that they you have just as much just as much right to tell them to terminate the pregnancy as they do, as they do to keep it. I be, I dare you to do that, and I dare you to get a response that you like. <laughs> it's never gonna happen, man. But you know. What can you do? What can you do? I'm sure they'll handle it. Rich people get into rich people. You, you, rich people probably do more ratchet things than people that are broken it. It's interesting, right? All that money, all that time, all those resources, and they still get themselves in positions where they have to, you know, public statements like that, look trashy online. It's just, come on, man, you're rich. You should be a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more relaxed, a little bit less, you know, whatever. You should, innit? You should, in theory, but hey, in theory is one thing, in real life is another thing. It is what it is.